So target the right blog. I, you know, the right blog might be based on volume. It might be based on the audience, right? If you sell something really niche and, and they have an Alexa ranking of a million, you know, meaning a million websites uh, get more traffic than them. That's not necessarily bad. You know, like if you're in the miniature poodle dog washing and grooming business, you know, that's, that's a niche, right? And it's going to, and it's going to have geography associated with it. And so there's a lot of different reasons to look for blogs based on uh, their authority in a specific field as opposed to just um, search traffic. So um, then, you know, then you have work to do, you have research to do. You got to go to their, you go to their blog and say, um, if I'm going to write for this blog and I have established that I want to, I have to understand you know, what topics they publish stuff about, what kind of styles do they have? Do they have long posts, short posts, lots of images, no images, lots of subheads, not no subheads, you know, a first person voice, third person voice, conversational style, anecdotal, you know, you, you can't just um, do your own style every time you want just because you're making a guest appearance. It's going to help you to sort of adhere to what they do. And, uh, and you might look at their favorite formats, you know, like, um, do they publish a lot of infographics? Do they do a lot of interviews? So you're going to want to get to know their blog because you're going to want to uh, convince them that you have got to know their blog and you're actually going to fit in and be helpful and satisfy their readers uh, like some of the successful uh, writers that have gone before you. And so in a way, while um, just like you're not going to have access to the Google Analytics, they're not, you're not going to, they're not going to send you a persona of the reader, but you can sort of reverse engineer it. Right, you go, well, it looks like they write for dog owners and uh, it looks like they have you know, this sort of style and maybe the people that read it are more male than female or more female than male or in this age or in this geography. So, you know, try to look at the demographics and the psychographics of the reader, uh, keeping in mind that you're going to have to speculate a bit. And then, um, yeah, reach some conclusions about the things that uh, um, matter to you. You know, if, if, if shares matter to you and uh, Twitter matters to you and they get zero Twitter shares, you know, you might uh, move on and eliminate them. Another way I think to get to know their, their audience and their traction is read not only the blog posts but the comments. Now, um, sometimes uh, publishers are pulling the plug on comments, but you know more often than not they remain. And so blogs that get a lot of comments, you know, sort of suggest that they have a lot of engagement and a lot of readers. Uh, it's not always the case, but I think you know you should join the conversation there and certainly see how people are responding. And then um, we'll get into pitching, but you know when it, when push comes to shove and it's time to time to um, do it, you know take it seriously, write your most amazing post ever, you know, not, not, knock one out of the park. And so uh, they have, they have to say yes. And it has to be a success. You know, you're, you're going to want to be invited back. So, you know, don't take uh, the assignment lightly if you get it. <laughs>